Hello and welcome to part one of our two-part tutorial in finding the tautomerization transition state of pyrethione in AMS TFTB. The structure of pyrethione is already input in the ADF window. I already performed a geometry optimization prior to recording this tutorial. So in part one, we are going to scan the potential energy surface for the distance of the hydrogen in re relation to the sulfur atom and with the results from this calculation we will determine the transition state in part two of this tutorial so i will go to dftb potential energy surface scan and i will leave all of these at the default settings and then we are going to change this distance from 1.611 to 1.4 and we are going to do that in 10 steps. So then we can run and save our changes. Since we are using DFTB to run this type of calculation, you can expect them to be very quick. Just like that. And we are going to read the new coordinates. <clears throat> and then we are going to show the results by going to SCM movie. And then there we go, we have the potential energy on the y-axis and the geometries on the x-axis. And you can shift through the frames by your, using your arrow keys. And you can see the hydrogen slowly moving towards the sulfur to complete the tautomerization. Now for the next step in part two, we need to use the highest energy state in this transformation which if you can look here is frame number four there we go frame number four and then you go to file update geometry in input and then there we go this will be our starting point for part two of our tutorial where we will be looking at the transition state if this tutorial was useful for you please leave a like leave a comment down below to let us know what tutorial you would like to see next Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this and as always take care.